Hi, my name's Emmeline Choi, I am the Holistic Facialist and I am back this week with another video talking this week about dairy and how dairy can affect our skin. So, if you are interested in learning more about how dairy can have an impact on your skin health, your overall health and also acne, then keep on watching. So, the first thing I'd say about dairy is it's kind of weird. <laughs> Um, and I guess I'd say that because it's not a natural thing for humans to consume and as much as for years, I think for years I believed in my heart that cows produce milk that's just, I guess that's kind of what you're brought up believing and that cows just produce, produce milk and that's perfectly normal and if you actually think about it, it's obviously not the case and I think um, I don't know, it, it, you just kind of take it for granted, but actually we're drinking, when we drink cow's milk, it's breast milk. And um, I don't want to kind of go into all the, the ethical side of it, but obviously the, the cow gives birth to a baby calf and then she's stuck on this, I don't know what you call it, like a big long line and they're just pumped of all their breast milk all day. And it's very unnatural and it's, it's just, it's a little bit sad, but from a like from another point of view it's just a bit weird like if it was a I don't know like a, a monkey <laughs> or another kind of animal would you want to drink its breast milk I mean the idea of me drinking another woman's breast milk is just a, is a bit weird let alone drinking another animal's breast milk so the concept of actually drinking cow's milk being breast milk is yeah it's, it's just a little bit odd um but obviously we're not led to believe that we're led to you know brought up to believe that's normal but actually you're drinking another animal's breast milk which is obviously not natural and it's not designed for human consumption so that's probably the main reason we can have problems because it um you know it it doesn't suit our body so that's the first thing i say is it's just a little bit weird <laughs> The second thing I'm going to mention is probably the main reason um, and basically the milk contains a hormone called, I think it's called IGF-1 um, and that's like a natural hormone in the milk. So milk naturally contains hormones to help the baby calf grow from a little baby calf to you know a big cow so it's got to help them big, big strong bones and you know just basically become grow into a big cow and um, it's not designed for us tiny little babies to grow to these humans and adults so obviously the hormones are very strong in there if you compare the size you know of a human to a cow and what happens is these natural hormones which, which are completely natural and um, they will go into our system and they kind of have a a bit of a reaction with our natural hormones especially testosterone and what happens is when our hormone levels are in balance that's what can cause acne so when we have high levels of testosterone this then um, increases our oil production when we get really oily faces it can block pores the oil blocks our pores and then um, it, the, you know you get a mixture of skin cells and all sorts it's a lovely warm environment and then bacteria spreads grows and you end up with pustules and spots on the face and heaven forbid you know big cysts and all sorts so um it is linked to the hormones and i know some dairy products say that they're hormone free but um i don't think it's it's not actually hormone free as such the the milk will naturally contain hormones from the cow and um, but some um other maybe not so ethical companies will add hormones to the milk and um, not to the milk sorry to the cows to make them grow and be stronger and things so they just basically when it says hormone free milk it just means there's no hormones added to the cow as opposed to no hormones in the milk so milk does contain hormones which then plays havoc with our skin and that's probably the main reason that we can break out and if you are struggling with acne I would recommend really cutting back on your dairy intake because that's let's say one of the main reasons. Another thing with dairy is it is very acid forming in the body so if you dip a litmus paper into milk it'll come out as alkaline and um, that doesn't necessarily mean once it's digested in the body it makes the body alkaline it actually can turn to acid inside the body and when our body is in an acidic state it can be very inflammatory and without going into too much details about 
you know acid and alkaline diets and things you you really want to have your body in more of an alkaline state to reduce inflammation because when we have inflammation in the body that's when you have you know problems with your health ill health and cancers unfortunately is generally caused with um, acidic environment and inflammation in the skin so if you are struggling with acne and breakouts and you've got these really big sore spots a lot of it can be from the inflammation in your body as well that can be caused from dairy. So um, I'd look into maybe more of an alkaline based diet, which generally is more of a plant based diet. Um, animal products, fizzy drinks, chocolates, sugars, all those things are very acidic, alcohol, caffeine as well. Um, so if you can look more towards an alkaline diet, it is much better. And you know, there's a million and one things you can Google online about alkaline diets, but so I'm not gonna go into that now, but the main thing with dairy is it is very acid forming and can be very anti not anti-inflammatory, very inflammatory on the body. Another point is that because we're not designed to consume dairy as humans, our bodies aren't designed to digest it. And because dairy is so difficult for our bodies to digest, and um, some more than others I know, and obviously there's a lot of people out there who are intolerant to dairy, it can cause a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, um, and just general poor digestion in the body. When you have poor digestion, that can also lead to um, problems with your skin, especially around the cheeks and on the forehead, between the brows you can break out because a lot of that is linked to your digestive system and sort of your stomach is around your cheeks as well. So if you're finding you're breaking out like um, here upwards, <laughs> that can be linked to your digestion and if you do have a lot of dairy in your diet, maybe it's another reason to cut back on it. We are also led to believe that um, a skinny latte or a skinny cappuccino is the healthier option. And to a certain extent you could say it is, it has less fat in it, not that you know fat is the worst thing in the world. Um, but the problem is when we drink skimmed milk, because the skimmed milk doesn't have the fat, it doesn't really have a lot of flavour, it's very water-like. And so a lot of companies can add whey protein or casein protein to the skim milk to give it that creaminess and that um, you know that richness that you you would miss I guess. So if you're finding um, you're breaking out and you're having the skinny lattes, it might be from that because these proteins that they add contains hormones as well. So you're having the hormone from the milk and then they're adding these extra proteins in to give it the creaminess, which are adding more hormones into the milk, which are causing then more problems with your skin. Um, and so in that sense, sometimes it might be better to go for a full fat milk than the skim milk, but even better if you're not having the milk at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if, you're, if you do have a lot of skimmed um, milk and you think that's better for you, you might, you, and you're breaking out, you might find you'd be better if you swapped over to a full fat milk if you still want to continue on dairy. So in the same sense that um, the skimmed milk contains these whey proteins and casein, I think it's, that's how you say it, casein protein, that's also why um, the protein powders that are from whey protein are not that great because they have the hormones in. So I would always recommend a good organic vegan protein, anything that's dairy free. Because if you, uh, there's a lot of you know these really big bodybuilders out there and they really struggle with acne and you can see it all over their arms and their backs and on their faces and it's because they're having so much um, protein powders that the whey protein with all the hormones, yeah, it's causing the acne. So um, if you're going to have your protein powder, really make sure it's a good vegan and organic one. I like the um, Sun Warrior protein you can get as a, an organic vegan one and um, the Elle McPherson does a lovely one called the Super Elixir and I, I really like that, the chocolate one, it's actually quite nice. So, and I know it's got lots of vitamins and other good things in there. So they're my two favorite um, protein powders if you wanna try them. And I'd say finally, if you do want to cut back on your dairy um, and you don't wanna go cold turkey, then start off with cutting out all like the, the creamy things. So your milk, ice cream, single cream, you know, pouring cream, all that sort of stuff. Um, just cut out that part first because they are generally the ones that have the most hormones and can cause the most havoc on your skin. See how your skin is after about three or four weeks without, you know, your usual lattes or cappuccinos or um, milk on your cornflakes or porridge or however you have it. See how your skin is after a few weeks and if you're starting to see an improvement, maybe cut out your yogurts and cheeses as well. Um, they don't cause the same impact that your 
creamier dairy products can do but obviously things like cheese contains a lot of saturated fat which again isn't going to be great for the skin and it's in the same way it's quite hard to digest so it's still going to be bad for your digestive system which then links to problems with your skin but i would definitely recommend if you want to try doing a bit of a dairy detox just cut out all your your creams your milks and all that sort of thing and um, don't be scared about the your calciums you know if you're eating a really good diet you can always take a calcium supplement if you want but your greens you know like kale and spinach they've got loads of calcium in and um, and don't forget you can get your proteins from you know a good vegan protein powder and um, so yeah there's loads of other options out there I've been dairy free for two years bar a little bit of cheese here and there and I just feel so much better and um, my skin cleared up a lot and just my overall I don't know I, I did struggle feeling a bit groggy after I'd eaten especially dairy products and I never really linked it because I had probably so much dairy in my life I didn't realize how much you know things like cups of tea and then you your milk and your cereal or um, coffees all different things um, and it really really has made a difference for me anyway personally I know everybody's different but I highly recommend giving it a try have a bit of a dairy detox and see how it impacts your life your health and your skin um, but um, I hope you found this interesting I hope you found it useful and yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you again soon